All right, so we've got Anders Albertson here at TPI today. He's a journeyman out there on tours, played Corn Ferry and PGA Tour. Started getting some things going on in 2022 that led to him taking a medical. We haven't seen him much lately, but he's starting to bring his game back after dealing with these injuries. Anytime you've got somebody who's been off the game for a while, you never know, different motor patterns can creep in. You wanna make sure that when you go out there, there's no weaknesses. You can't have weaknesses when you go back on the PGA Tour. Now go ahead and rotate that as far as you can. Up to your left one. Different world, right? Mm -hmm. Come back down, just this arm. Tell me if there's any difference. It's more work. Right one's harder again? Uh so it's becoming pretty evident here, looking at Anders, that he's two different humans, the right side and the left side. When we're testing his left side, things are moving really well. When I get to the right side, it's a whole different story. We've got limitations, not only from the lower quarter, but from the trunk, even in the shoulder. Which side's better? Probably left. Yeah, it's a lot better. I'm worried about that backswing, man. I'm starting to build a picture here. We noticed everything going to the right, which is his backswing, was restricted. Okay, I want you to see something. Turn this way. If I put a line across the front of your pelvis, see that white line? Mm -hmm. See how you get to that white line? Mm -hmm. Okay, so go right leg. Can you get your pelvis to that white line with the right leg? Nope. The interesting is you have better range than that on the table than you're showing me here. So when you're weight bearing, your body's kind of protecting it. When you take that club away, if you've got restrictions on that right side, then there could be potential for sway. You could go into something we call reverse spine angle. You could lose your posture. You could have early extension. What do you need help with? I think I could hit it straighter and higher. I, I think I get uh, stuck on my right. It's really hard for me to get into my left soon enough. So when we asked Anders, how could we help? It was very evident he's a fantastic short game. Number one with inside 10 feet and putting for a long time a great bunker player, but he said in his long game, he tends to get a little stuck on his right side, gets a little long in his backswing, and has a hard time getting to his left side. That's kind of his perception of what his golf swing does wrong. We've got a strong guess on what we're gonna see over here, but let's, let's do it, let's go hit. Okay. So that's kind of what I show up to the course with every day if I don't have my stuff together. You have to go to this high right, and I have to really get focused to not have to go to high right. Double play ready. You're completely avoiding your right side and your backswing. Um, you, you thought you were going too much on your right. What's kind of interesting with players is feel versus real. A lot of times when a player tells me what they feel is going wrong, the real could be completely different. Look at that up there. There's the top of your backswing. Which leg are you on? Left. 100%. At least the force plate's showing that. What he would do is he would load left, and then as he went down, because he was left too early, he would go back to the right. So that's why he was feeling like he was hanging back on his right side and he couldn't get to the left. It was because he was loading left. When guys push from their right leg to go to the left, they usually push with about 23% of their body weight. You're pushing with 12%, right? I mean, it's almost half. That might work with like a shorter iron or like a flighted iron. But the minute you start to lengthen the club, if you load left, we get a breakdown in the kinetics and the kinematic sequence. But you're not on your right leg. That's why it's hard to push from your right leg. Right? It's hard to get left if you're already left. This is what I would feel like if I go to a turn. Like I got to really drop it in just to hit straight. Driver tack angles I do not like this. That lateral driver, that push from your right foot, starts the momentum towards the left leg that we then turn into rotational speed. Very important for creating power in the golf swing. From here, can you push into me? Okay, now go to your right side. Can you push into me? No. Do you feel like you're outside your right foot there? Yeah. Where would be the best place to push into me? Uh, inside of right. I agree, let me see you go there. Is that where you are on your back side? No. I agree. <laughs> but that would be the best place to get left, right? Yeah. With Anders, not only did we have this physical limitation creating the bad pattern, well now we have a bad pattern we got to break again. It's basically learning a new skill. Double play ready. Okay, that's the center of your stance. If I drop a plumb bob down from your zipper and it comes down, where is that in relationship to the center of your stance? In front. So the zipper's in front? Yeah. Okay. Best drivers in the world, where do you think it is? Probably opposite. It's about that far behind. So anytime we see an improper weight shift in the golf swing, one of the first things we're going to look at is setup. With the driver, most players are just a little bit behind the center of their stance. That allows for them to almost preset load into their trail leg. How could you do this and keep your pelvis level? 
Yeah, the right knee's probably going to have to flex a little bit more. Okay, now go to the top of your backswing. From here, do you feel like it's still behind there? Yeah, maybe. I'd like to do something I call finish where you start. You're going to start with it slightly behind, and you're going to finish the backswing with it slightly behind. And then you can do your normal swing. All right, you start slightly loaded on your back leg, and as you take your backswing, you stay there. This allows you to aggressively weight shift forward. What I'm hoping is that position helps you get left harder on the downswing. Can we try one like that? Yeah. Stay there in the backswing. Double plate ready. Now what you might notice on something like this is you might hang back because now you got to go left. Before you never had to go left because you were already there. Okay. Remember it was 12? It's at 15.6 now. You can still do more. And more is keeping it over here longer or pushing more? Yes. Both. Okay. <laughs> the minute we started to get him to load onto that trail side, you could see the results in the force of pressure and you could kind of see the bright light go on in his head. I want you to see some set up like you're going to hit. Okay, now turn your right foot in. Okay, now try and stay there in the backswing. There's no chance. Right? Like, turn your foot out. Now watch, this is freedom. Your natural tendency might not be the best thing for your golf swing. All right, that was 16.6. We're getting there, right? So we started with 12, went to 15. Now we're almost at 17. You're now starting to push harder left. So you're getting left. Like, at least we get weight shift going, things are going to get better. Hit a couple without the force play. Just get used to it a couple times. The first thing you'll see with good players when you actually get their movement right and you, get, you change their loading pattern is they've developed a release mechanism based on the old pattern. You might now have changed their swing, but they still have that old release. So now we've got to shift to controlling club face. Wait, notice what that ball did. You hit the ground harder, the ground hits back harder, and it actually makes you twist and open more. As your body opens, what happens to the club face? It opens. So if you get aggressive and start weight shifting, if you don't release it, the ball's going right. Great. So let's do the exact same thing, just release the crap out of it. If you don't do lateral and the club's not in the right position, it's kind of hard to sequence everything else because you have to compensate. Aggressive weight shift, aggressive release. So once we got him loaded better into the trail side, the first few swings, he actually blocked it to the right. Now he had to actually release the club. Release. Good. And the harder you turn, the less turn that ball's going to have. Your whole thought should just, I'm going to go as aggressive as I can, so I better release or the ball's going right. Yeah, this feels like I have five times the time on the right. You are. But notice you're pushing with 40% more. So stay over there in the backswing, but now in the downswing, step into the pitch. Go after it. That's going to turn into something really good. And the minute he did that, you could see the ball starting to straighten out. He actually started to get more of a draw pattern. Uh, yeah, there. Now it looks like you can launch it. Dustin Johnson looks like that. Oh, dude, put that in the box. You look at John. He's obviously one of the best drivers in the world. Does he look like he's on his right or his left side more? <laughs> right? And then watch him at the top of the backswing. Look at his head. Look how far on this side he is so that he can move left. I think it's totally that. Might be just the same. You couldn't feel yourself going left, so you were trying to go left early. But going left early was your problem. <laughs> you had to go right to go left. It's been years, years of that. Double plate ready. It's almost an avoidance pattern. And anytime we see this, it leads to the things that he's, he's complaining of. The high right shot, the, the miss. It really affects power and consistency. Dude, do that. Look how much better that setup looks there, Dave. Yeah, that's way better. Launch. That looks like Rory. Double plate ready. Good players, they have great intuition, they have great feel. They can start to really quickly figure out what they need to do to square that club face at impact. Look where we're at. 18. Started at 12, I want 23, we're at 18 now. And by the way, the other numbers are going higher too, and we didn't even talk about them, but 218% vertical, you just had it backwards in your head. Three iron. Is it weird to hit a three iron from like there? Let's just feel this way and tilt to the left. Okay, and back. Now watch, do that again. Notice, I call that a fake turn. Come back. Mm -hmm. Now just turn, just rotate. Golf should be rotation. Yeah. Okay, it should not be leaning towards the target. Okay. Better, way better. Pushing right to your left is what does this. Going left early kills the left. Pressure. Does that make sense? That's been the frustration that I've had because no matter how much work I put in, 
It was invalid. It didn't matter. See how you go left there? Yeah, it didn't happen. You go left. You go left, and now you can push and deliver the club. So much better. So you're a little closer, finish where you start, and be aggressive left and aggressive release. And see, the spine angle looks great. Yeah, no more to the shift. Put yeah, and, moving, no, and notice he's, he's rocking now before he's twisting, which is great. When you move into that trail side, you're staying wider, because when you're left already, you're narrow, and then you're like, oh shit, I gotta get angle out. So then you're backing up to get angle out. So you have width now, before, when he came in, his feel and reel were not the same. Once the feel and reel match, and now it all makes sense, and sometimes now you just need to get out of the way. You just need to go hit balls now, and you're going to figure this out. We need to attack to make this easier for you, right? We want to be able to get more range on the right. Like, I need you on your right side. I need you to be able to rotate in your right hip, turn in your right spine, shoulder be able to excellently rotate. It'll just make this easier for you, and you'll be able to go longer and hit the ball farther. Right there looks good. Stay there to the top. Lower body is actually your superpower. That's where you're the strongest, but you were killing your lower body in your golf swing. The concept of position where I yeah. start, you know, yeah. like that to me clears up a lot and it yeah. doesn't hurt. Yeah. 20 swings, it went from 12 to 18 in a month. You'll yeah. probably be over 20. Awesome. Cool. Well, thank you guys so much. Uh, I was really excited to be here. Yeah. Oh, well, hey, we're that's excited to have we you here. Help. Feel and real are very different, dude. It's hard to coach yourself. It'll be nice to work on these as I'm Back. Some important lessons here, feel and real, we talked about, you know, here's a player, classic example, comes in, tells you they're getting stuck on their right side, can't get off the right side, when we go look at the data, not even go to the right side, right? So it's important, don't assume, make sure you test. Probably around 60% of the players that come in here, what they think they're doing is completely opposite of what they're really doing. The important thing here is once the feel and real match, that's where the light bulb moments occur for not only the players, but also the coaches.